The Supreme Court rejected a controversial settlement involving Purdue Pharma. The settlement would have sent billions of dollars to treatment programs and victims of the nation's opioid epidemic. The Sackler family had agreed to pay $6 billion to families and states in an agreement to wind down its company, Purdue Pharma, the maker of OxyContin. In exchange, the family would have immunity from future civil lawsuits. A federal appeals court in New York approved the deal last year, but the U.S. Supreme Court paused the arrangement in August so it could review the case. Supporters of the bankruptcy argued the years-long process had gone on long enough and was unlikely to yield additional money from the Sackler family. The vast majority of known current opioid victims and their families supported the deal. The decision's majority opinion took issue with shielding the family from future lawsuits and said they're not putting anything close to all their assets on the table. The dissent implored Congress to amend U.S. bankruptcy law to fix what it called the chaos that will ensue from the ruling. The opioid crisis has killed hundreds of thousands of Americans and shattered many more.